So guys, it's been a couple of days since Christmas happened. I feel like everyone sat on the couch, let the eggnog digest for a little bit. But everyone blew me up and everyone was asking for it. Ando, what did you get for Christmas? Did you get any Pokemon stuff? Can we see what you got? So I thought today I would do my final like Christmas special-ish after Christmas and show you guys what I got um, as presents that were like Pokemon related because believe it or not I'm a massive Pokemon fan and I get a lot of Pokemon sort of presents and it's always the weirdest stuff ever like it's not always oh, Wow, that's really cool. It's what the heck is that? But this year I got some really cool stuff so I thought 100% let me show you guys what I got for Christmas And if you guys in the comments will let me know what you got for Christmas I would love to know easily my favorite like thing ever watching Christmas unboxing videos or seeing what you guys got so Let's see uh, my first present. This one is massive. Okay, so this one right here is an absolutely massive one. Like, dude, it's literally about like three times the size of me, but it's really, really wild. You gotta check this out. Apparently, it's all the way from Poland or something. We get the uh, cardboard out, out of there. It is literally an entire metal play of like Pikachu jumping out from an explosion. Holy Arjemima, how wild is that? And. It's on like full metal, it's not like hand painted, it's not on a canvas. It's just a metal sheet of a Pikachu jumping out an explosion. Now this next thing is probably something that I think is really really cool, but you guys will find so boring. I'm just curious what you guys think of it, but I got this from my parents because I asked for it. Um, I managed to find it on eBay, I linked them there, I was like this is what I really really want. Check this out. Okay, so pretty much something that I really, really wanted that I think no one will really care about except for really hardcore collectors, but I find this so sick and so satisfying. I managed to get protective cases, my two favorite booster boxes. Now, I know what you're thinking, Ando, that doesn't seem like a big deal, but believe it or not, getting a full, like, let me put Charizard to the side here so I don't break him, but getting a full protective uh, plastic case or acrylic case for your really old booster boxes, this old is hard to do. Especially when it fits like a glove, like this one. So this one right here is especially made for a base set booster box and uh, it's not going to get, like, look how thick it is. There's no damage at all that's going to occur to this, especially when you got a crispy mint edge one like this. And it's all magnetic, believe it or not. So this back end right here is put on by magnets. So I can lift it up and if I really wanted to, I can like peel it off. Just all magnetic force, like that's all that holds it, but it's a strong as magnetic seal. So that's not going anywhere, it's all vacuum sealed now, and I could even like hold it like this, and I don't even care. But if I pulled it like that, it'd pop off. So I managed to get that one fitted for my base set booster box, airtight seal. Even looks amazing, because when you got a seal, you want to show it off, but you also want to protect it. So this does both. I thought that was sick, and I did the exact same for this bad boy right here. Got a uh, Neo Discovery one, it's actually the same dimensions as the base set. So we popped that one on there and it looks sick. So believe it or not, we actually got a present from our P.O. box. Like I checked it on uh, Christmas Day and long behold was this white bubble mailer with like green and red tissue paper. But let me show you what's inside of that bad boy. So if I like unwrap everything here, it's a whole bunch of Pokemon card sleeves with Pokemon cards inside. Now I know you don't know what's inside just yet. I tried to have a sneaky peek and I saw some full up bangers. So I thought, let's wait to the day, let's see what he sent us. I'm gonna try and get them all out the sleeves right now, and then we'll uh, reveal what's inside, I guess. So let's do that. I honestly reckon half of these are gonna be upside down or the other way around. But anyway, let's uh, take it as it comes and let's see what he sent us. I have a feeling we got some absolute bangers in here. From the one that I saw, the one full of card, these go off, oh no, look at this! Dude, this is what I'm talking about, I literally saw all the gold promos. So he not only sent us a full art golden Lunala as a Christmas present, the man Chad goes off. So we got a full art gold Lunala right here, he also sent us the other ones too. So we got a hol uh, hollow Brock's training right there, upside down, then we got a reverse Chansey, reverse Erica's hospitality, Water type energy reverse, Arbok, Pokemon Center Lady, Jesse and James Hollow. Then we got Dartrix right there as our regular shiny holding up his two red feathers. <laughs> Looks so sick. I love these, man. This is so cool. Hidden Fates. Um, yeah, I guess Christmas care package right here. Reverse Mew, Hollow Jesse and James again. Then we got that shiny Beldum, which looks ridiculous. Misty's Water Command Hollow. Dude, this is this is wild because I don't even have this one. Alturia, full art shiny GX right there. 
Bright Tone Sonic Edge, Euphoria GX. These are ridiculous. How many fuller cards we can get? Eevee's Hollow, Reverse Darkness Type, Erica's Hospitality. Then we got that Full Art Shining Rayquaza, which I, by the way, sent off to get PSA graded. So hopefully that comes back soon. And then we get a Solid Gold, Soul Galio GX Full Art Card. And does it keep going? It does! With a Full Art Shining Nagandal GX right there. Oh no. Then a Mewtwo GX as well. He keeps going. Super Cybolt and Psycrush. Uh, Jolty on Reverse. And a Shiny Zoroa to finish it off. Chad, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for that Christmas present throughout the P.O. Box right there. If you guys ever want to send me anything to the P.O. Box, I've got the address on the screen right now. Make sure you go uh, send it in there. But it doesn't actually end there with Pokemon cards. Because I had a rough idea, Chad sent me a DM, he's like, Dude, I'm sending your Christmas presents, it's gonna have a lot of good cards in there. That was fantastic getting that. But Collectible Madness sent me, uh, this bad boy, which is a box I never actually opened on the channel, and I had no idea. But apparently, I completely missed the Trevenant and Dusnor GX box. So I thought, okay, today's the day, let's unbox this bad boy, and, uh, see- Oh, there's a Steam Siege. WHO PUT A STEAM SIEGE IN A PERFECTLY GOOD BOX? So this right here is the Trevenant and Dusnor Jumbo card. Pretty stock standard, no full art texture. It's one of those regular tag team GX's. These right here are the, um, I don't know, just below a premium collection box. So you didn't get that, like, promo full art card. You get the, uh, tag team GX card. And the problem with these, the way they package them. Look at this. I don't know if you can see, but there's a big crease right there. It's because the way it was like slowed into the box, taking it out is really, really difficult. It sucks because I guess it doesn't matter for me as much because this is going in my binder and I don't really mind. Like, if I get a dance with one, it's okay. But I feel like if you were buying this and this was your only Christmas present or something, that would suck if it was dented. So that's my only problem with these. I've also got another problem with these. It includes the Steam Siege. But I feel like that's a separate issue on my part. I need to resolve. But we get the tag team Trevenant and Dustnor GX. Pretty cool card. Didn't have that one in my collection, obviously. Don't know how I missed this one. But let's see what the pulls were like. I don't know um, if these would be really good or really bad. So we've got a Unified Minds to kick things off. Haven't opened a Unified Minds in a bit of a hot minute. Start off with an Unlisted Leaf Energy. Now it's going to try and do the job of living up to that Hidden Fates uh, Chad Care package. Metaside, Shroomish, Pipole, Frolas, Hollow Card. Not too bad. Actually getting some good Christmas pulls right now, aren't we? I'm loving it! I'm gonna do these Christmas present recaps more often. They're, as I said, they're really, really fun videos to watch. There's the, uh, code card. What was that? That was a... Oh, Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. So it's gonna be four from the back. Swing it around. Man, I haven't opened a Lost Thunder in a while too. Electabuzz, Cacleon, Netball, Jigglepuff. Then we've got... None other... Then a regular S Steelix. We're gonna take that one with our stride. Now we've got a Unified Minds once again. Come on, let's let's put a dagger in him and uh, give him a rainbow rare of some kind. Swing it around. I don't even care if it's tag team. Don't even care what it is. Jinx, Dragonair, Delphamize. Why the heck has Delphamize got a V card? And he was recently in an English set. So Lazzle regular rare. I swear, if we get some sort of pull out of Steam Siege, I'm losing my mind. I'm quitting. I'm quitting YouTube. Uh, don't worry guys, it's living up to its rep reputation, and it's gonna give us- It was a solid green. It's gonna give us a regular rare. Burgemite, Fungus, Mankey, Shellos. How? How is it consistently the worst set ever invented? Anyway, put that to the side. So what, uh, thank you again to Collectible Madness for that Christmas present. I, um, I honestly don't even care, I just got one holo there. It's all about getting those cards I don't have before, so the tag team right there. Can't believe I skipped that, that was pretty weird. Must have missed the release, but I actually bought myself two Christmas presents this year, um, and they're both uh, Pokemon related for videos. So my very, very first one was these two right here. Now, I bet you guys have never heard of this before, but about two weeks ago, over in Japan, Pokemon held this, like, Pokemon card tournament, I think it was in Tokyo, and everyone that attended this two-day event, Pokemon gave them two envelopes. Now these look like something Jack Sparrow lost in the ocean one time, and someone like dug up from his treasure chest. But, these are the coolest things in the world. So right here we've got a clear envelope where it's stamped clear. On the back, Nintendo, Creatures Inc, Pokemon, Game Freak, all that sort of good stuff. Same with this one. 
That's the only context you're gonna get. So let me bust it open. I'll open up this one with the uh, red writing on it first. You open up these secret envelopes and inside is an exclusive Pokemon card that you're only gonna get if you attended the latest tournament in Tokyo, Japan and got one of these envelopes. So we get this clear like, I don't know, packaging thing with a Charizard on the front with a QR code and it's on the back of a Pokemon card. That's pretty weird. Love that. But dude, check this out. You get none other than a Meowth V card in Japanese. Like this is ultra exclusive. Promo number 28. How are we on 28 already? Gee whiz. But anyway, we get the Meowth V card, but then we have to try and work out how to get it out of these uh, side sleeves. And once you got it out of those bad boys, check this out. Honestly, such a cool promo. I absolutely love it. And even better, this is coming out in English in a couple of weeks as well, which is amazing. So we got the Meowth V card right there. Pokemon Center or Pokemon exclusive uh, promo card. Which is insane. The only way to get these was from the envelopes, which I love. I'm going to keep the envelopes and everything. And then you got this one as well, which had a big red clear stamp on it. So we'll open this one. And you get the Meowth Flipping V Max. Yo! That is sick. Ah, oh, no way. So Japan International Trade actually went to these tournaments and got them for me. Because uh, I was like, yo, you can't miss out on these bad boys. I'm doing a really good job of collecting a lot of the Sword and Shield promos at the moment. So I can't miss out on the Meowth V and V Max cards. And these are no exception. The texture. Oh, mama, it's right there. Look at that. Woo! Okay, that's sick. Oh, I've won Christmas. That is awesome. Now, I also contacted Japan National Trade and ordered my second Christmas present from them as well. But I'm going to wait till tomorrow's video to reveal that because it has its own sort of life and um, it's going to suit tomorrow's video a lot more. So stay tuned for part two-ish tomorrow, kind of. Um, but have a fantastic day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite Christmas present of mine was and what yours was as well. I want to hear about it. I want to know what you guys got. What was the in thing this year? Probably a lot of hidden fates, I reckon. Someone pulled the shiny Charizard for sure. Anyway, I'd say have a Merry Christmas, but I feel like it's long gone. So have a Happy New Year, guys, and uh, keep on gaming. Until next time, I'll see you then.